What's up guys, Deadly Cyclone here for the Strike YouTube channel, and today I know it looks like I'm sitting on a bed, it's because I am. Um, you can see we're here in a hotel room for Microsoft Ignite 2019 down here in Orlando, so I'm just getting ready to go home in the morning, um, but I wanted to kind of give you guys an update on some of the stuff that happened and one of the new toys I got that you can see sitting in front of me here. So. Um, we've been down here all week. I've been going to sessions and stuff, and there's been a lot of great stuff from uh, all corners of the office and vendor and all the environments that Microsoft touches. So we've learned a lot. Uh, I've got a lot of stuff that I can use now going forward, and if you ever have the opportunity to go, whether for business or whatever it is, do it because it's well worth it. Just wear good shoes because we walked about 20,000 steps a day. But anyways, um, that was cool. Um, one of the highlights was definitely on Monday when we got to sit about four rows back for Satya Nadella's uh, keynote speech in which he kind of discussed the future of Microsoft, what's going on, um, talked about some really cool technology with the Glass project where They've transferred the entirety of the Superman movie onto a little glass square that's about this big. You can probably find other videos of that. Um, they're doing that to help, I think it was Warner Brothers, preserve their aging film reels that are all stored in a big room. So if they can get that working, I think that's got really good potential to be something huge in the future. But the whole week was great. Um, but let's get to the reason we're here. So these are the Microsoft Surface headphones. Now, full disclaimer here, I actually won these from a giveaway the Outlook team was doing. So shout out to them. Um, they gave away about 10 of these a day. So I got lucky enough to win them. So this isn't sponsored or anything, but I did win these. I didn't pay for them. But uh, they are pretty fantastic. So let's just take a quick look. Um, I'm meaning this just to be a quick look and uh, maybe a mini review. But... I haven't had a whole lot of hours to use these yet, but this is uh, this is a basic case it comes from with the Microsoft logo right on the front. Pretty standard case. If you can hear that, it's a it's a harder case, so it'll stay well in your backpack and it won't easily get squished by whatever you have in there. Not very big. Um, it's a little bit wider on the end the ear cups sit than the other end, as you can kind of see there. But otherwise, it's a very I mean, it's your standard headphone case. It'll fit in most backpacks. If you're putting it in a purse or a smaller bag, you may have some issues, but you could always just take these out because these, you know, fold up pretty small themselves. So um, that's the basics of the case. I'll just open it up here so you can see what it looks like. As you can see, there's standard stuff. It looks like a case. Um, I'll pull this out so you guys can kind of see what's on this. So this, first of all, just gives you a look at uh, what the headphones can do. This isn't everything, but it shows off the touch area. So each ear cup, as I'll show you here in a minute, has a little touch area on it where you can tap, and you can see up here the taps. So one tap for play, pause, two for next, three for previous. You hold it to activate Cortana, and then when you're answering calls, double tap answers or ends, and holding declines it. So... That's pretty cool. Um, I haven't had a chance to test the calling on it, so I need to test the microphone and that kind of thing, but overall it kind of has everything you want it to. Um, down here, your standard uh, USB-C to USB-A charging cable. No power brick in there, so you're gonna have to plug this into your laptop or one of your existing fast charge or normal charge charger bricks. Um, bottom here, we have a 3.5 millimeter jack cable. Um, this isn't necessary because these are Bluetooth, but if you're out of charge and um, need to listen to something, you can plug these in and use them even when your headphones don't have a charge. But a lot of this stuff up here will not work unless you're on Bluetooth. So these are great for things like, hey, I'm going to plug it into my Switch, my Nintendo Switch on the plane. But other than that, um, you'll just keep these with you for uh, zero charge listening. Otherwise, that's pretty standard. You got your cables and a few instructions, and that's about it. A little mesh pouch here to keep your cables in once you get rid of this giant piece of paper. So let's take a look at the actual reason we're here. Set that up there. And these 
are the headphones themselves. Pretty standard, pretty basic. They do have a distinct look to them. I do like the silver. Kind of wish there was a black option. There may be. I need to double check that. Somebody correct me in the comments if there is. But uh, I do like the silver. They're, they kind of match the case really well. They go with pretty much everything. This is actually my iPad here. It's just backwards, you can see. But they go pretty well with that. They're about the same size, actually. So we'll take a take a little bit of a look here. It's got your normal kind of stretchy band here. You know, it clicks out and in based on how big you need it. Got your Microsoft logo there. Um, it does actually have your right and your left, which uh, I was actually talking to a colleague about the other day. There's a lot of headphones that don't put that on there. And sometimes, since they look so identical, it's really hard to figure out which way they should be on your head. So, headphone manufacturers, put the right and left on there, please. Um, other than that, you've got your ear cups, fairly big. A lot of foam on these. These are probably some of the most comfortable ones I've worn. Like, that is a lot of foam there, and they fit over your ears very well. There's a little bit up here. Um, the top band's always going to be the part that starts hurting first, I think, on, on these things and on any headphones, really. But there's a good amount of padding there. So overall, they've got good padding. You can see the actual speakers in there outlined by the uh, mesh over top of it. But let's talk about the actual ear cups here. So... You can probably see the buttons here. Um, this first one, you can kind of see. So here's your power button here. You press that once to turn it on, once to turn it off. This is your mute button. So if you're on a call, you can easily press that and mute it. You've got um, your little LED to show you when they're on. You've got a USB-C charging port and your 3.5 millimeter port for your uh, cable. That's pretty much it there. Um, on this one, nothing. So nothing on the outside of that. The real, the real key here is these dials. So these are active noise canceling headphones. And with this, you probably can't really see this move, but I'm turning this outside ring. And on the left ear cup, when you do that, you can control the amount of noise, noise cancellation it does from the bare minimum where it actively pulls outside audio through the microphone in so you can hear people talking around you to the maximum where it fully noise cancels based on the microphones blocking out sound. So you can adjust that, which is really nice. The other ear cup has the same kind of ring, but this controls your volume. So you have a volume up and down. So these pair really well with either not only your mobile devices, but also something like uh, your computer, your Windows 10 computer, for instance. I had them paired up to a Dell um, earlier and it was e pretty easy to control volume. You know, like I said, these are touch pads right here on both sides. They both do the same thing. So you can double tap to play either side, double tap to pause, triple tap goes forward. You know, that kind of thing. Single tap play, single tap pause, sorry. Double tap is uh, forward, triple tap back. So it's just uh, your standard headphone stuff at this point. I think everybody's got some form of tapping or talking to the assistant or buttons or this or that. But I just really like these because the sound is good. I mean, it's not the best I've ever heard, but it's actually got a decent amount of bass, which is always an issue for me. I don't want something like the Beats used to have where it's too much bass, but it's enough and it has a little bit of punch to it. Uh, the mids are okay. I prefer a little more high-end on mine, but overall they're they're a really good set of headphones. Um, the only the only downside is these are retail $350. So I know there's going to be a lot of tech enthusiasts out there that say, hey, you can get a better pair of headphones for the same price. But I think these are comparable to some of the ones in the same price range. And if you're a Surface owner or you're in on the Microsoft environment, these pair really easily with Bluetooth. Everything seems to work flawlessly. Um, I also have a pair of Jabra 85Hs, I believe, and I've had some weird Bluetooth issues here and there pairing those up. So they're also very good headphones, and I might do another video about those, but there is something to be said for a Microsoft designed and built product with Microsoft drivers and everything their own. 
it is Bluetooth, which is open standard, but you know, so that's pretty much it. I mean, they're headphones. That's uh, what you're going to get. I can't really demo the audio for you because you wouldn't be able to tell anyway, but they are very nice headphones. And I think if you're in the market for some and one of your main concerns is not only sound, but also how comfortable they are for long periods of time, these are going to be great. I saw a lot of these wearing people wearing these at Ignite itself and they had them on all day and I've worn these for a couple hours and I'm about to do it even more tomorrow on a flight and they've been super comfortable. I mean, the padding on these things is ridiculous. So they may not be 100% up to the quality of some of the upper end Bose or Sennheiser or what have you, but I think they are more comfortable than some of those and have good enough audio quality that you're going to like the feature set of these more. Not only the active noise cancellation dial and the volume, but just overall the comfort level and everything. So otherwise, that's pretty much it. Um, we uh, are heading back, like I said, from Microsoft Ignite and we'll be leaving tomorrow morning. But I wanted to get in a quick video on these new headphones that I got. And thanks to Microsoft for doing contests like that because it was great. I was really hoping to win and show off to you guys a new Surface or Surface Laptop 3, but hey, I'll take headphones. So um, I might do an impressions video later on if I have anything else to say about them. But otherwise, if you're in the market for Bluetooth headphones with noise cancellation, the Surface headphones are a very solid choice. So thanks for watching. And uh, if you have any specific questions about them or Ignite or anything like that, just leave me a comment below and I'll get back to you and we can uh, chat about the, the headphones or Ignite or just any questions you may have. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.